Congratulations on your purchase of a revolutionary Tiant USA water ionizer. This video will guide you through the quick and easy installation of your new life-changing purchase. Please review your owner's manual to become familiar with your new Tiant machine. The installation process should take anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes, depending on your level of experience. Take your time, and remember, help is always just a phone call away. You will need the following tools to help you with your installation. A pair of scissors and a pair of pliers. It's a good idea to have a small towel handy as well. When you unpack your Tiant water ionizer, please locate the following parts and accessories. The Tiant USA Owner's Manual, one faucet diverter, three diverter fitting rings, two black rubber washers, two steam elbows, one length of white hose, two tube fixing suction cups, one water outlet tube, one bottle of reagent drops. Please note you will not use all of the parts included with the install kit. First, please use your small towel and pliers to loosen the aerator on your faucet. Remove the aerator and set it aside. There are many types of faucets, and we've developed adapters to work with almost any type. Test each one of your diverter fitting rings until you find the one that matches your faucet. Once you locate the correct fitting ring, please screw it onto your faucet. If your faucet has a male attachment, you can use one of the black washers to help create a good seal if necessary. Next, locate the diverter and screw it onto the faucet, which now has one of the diverter fitting rings attached. Be careful not to over tighten. At this point, please move your unit near the sink where you'll be using it. Do not plug the unit in at this point in time. Next, you will need to cut two sections of white hose, but first you must measure the approximate distance from the faucet diverter to the back of the machine. It's a good idea to leave a little bit of slack so you can still rotate your faucet when the white hose is connected. Take one section of the white hose that you cut earlier and insert it into the inflow hole. Now insert the second section of hose that you cut into the outflow hole. You must press the hose into the holes with some pressure. You'll feel the hose seat into the hole when it's properly inserted. The reserve hole is not used. The steam elbows are optional and are normally only used if you'll be hanging your water ionizer on the wall. Next, remove the small nut on the side of the diverter. Thread the length of hose from the inflow hole through the nut that you just removed from the diverter. You must use the hose from the inflow hole, not the hose from the outflow hole. Now, press the section of hose that you just threaded through the nut onto the barb on the diverter. You must apply pressure in order to get the hose over the barb. Once the hose is completely over the barbed edge on the diverter, slide the nut forward onto the diverter and tighten. This will require some pressure to get the nut to thread back onto the diverter. Next, thread the remaining hose, which is connected from the outflow hole, through one of the suction cups. This works best if you wet the end of the hose and the suction cup first. Once the hose is threaded through the suction cup, attach the suction cup onto the inside of your sink. This will be used as your drain hose. Finally, attach the water outlet tube by screwing it clockwise onto the unit. Now plug your unit in and reach behind the machine to locate the power switch. Turn the machine on and you're ready to go. Turn your cold water on and rotate the lever on your diverter to direct the water to your new tie-end ionizer. Check for leaks behind the machine and around the faucet diverter. If you see any leaks behind the machine, simply push the hoses into the inflow and outflow holes with a bit more pressure until they are properly seated. If you see any leaks around the faucet diverter, then you can try tightening the diverter a bit more. If you still see leaks around the faucet diverter after tightening, then simply remove it and add some Teflon plumber's tape around the threads. Teflon plumber's tape is available at your local hardware store. Now you're ready to enjoy all of the benefits of your new Tiant water ionizer. When you first power on the machine, you will notice that it is blinking from red to purple. This simply means that the machine will self-clean before its first use. 
You may see the screen blinking every few days, which indicates to you that the next time you use your Tiant ionizer, it will first clean itself for 15 seconds. Do not be alarmed by the blinking. It is perfectly normal. When the cold water is on and the diverter lever is in the correct position, you can activate your Tiant ionizer by pressing any button. To stop the flow of water, simply press the same button again. Never use warm or hot water through your Tiant water ionizer for any length of time. Regardless of which button you press, you should always see water flowing from the top water outlet tube as well as the drain hose in the sink. The water flowing from the top outlet tube represents whichever button is pressed. For example, if you press the alkaline level 3 button, then alkaline water will be dispersed from the top water outlet tube and acidic water will flow from the drain hose simultaneously. If you press the acidic level 2 button, then acidic water will flow from the top water outlet tube and alkaline water will flow from the drain hose simultaneously. Congratulations! You are now on your way to reaping the wonderful, life-changing benefits from drinking Tiant alkaline ionized water. Please review your owner's manual for best practices.